Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Alpha King Carter here. I would like to welcome you guys to another NBA 2K24 video. In today's video, we're actually going to be changing gears. We won't actually be talking about news, but we're actually going to be talking about, I will call it a plague within NBA 2K that has been happening for the last few years. Now, I know you guys are probably like, yo, what is Alpha talking about? Is this about to be insane? I want you to get your comment fingers ready. It's going to be a very, very detailed and heartfelt video. And I hope that you not only enjoy the video, but share this with somebody else that may have the same sentiment of the topic that I'm about to talk about today. Let's get into it. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. Abba. King Kong. I would like to start off this by saying to all of the my career players out there, I feel your pain. I understand completely where you're coming from. The comment that is now on screen is a conversation that I had with somebody from my most recent video about the 2K community speaks out, I guess it was, it was a pretty long title, but within this comment, I instantly instantly felt a punch to the gut for someone that only wants to play my career because that's what they loaded into and don't want the online experience that comes with it. Now, before a lot of you say that's on them, you should get with it or get lost. You should evolve. I want you to understand something. Every player on every video game that they play has their own personal preference on the way that they want to play the game. Uh, DT will, he said that grind to 40 with my career. I'm not a park player. Now this was a conversation that a lot of people used to have back in the NBA 2K19, NBA 2K20 days where people were mad that you could hit legend by just playing my career, right? A lot of people were mad that, oh, well, that person got it through playing my career. They got the 99 by playing my career. They ain't really do nothing. So they took that and stripped it away from everybody that played my career, which was the legend status. And you know what came with legend statuses back then. They got the extra badge points. The, you know what I mean? They got, they got so many things, so many rewards for hitting legends. So they took that from my career players. Now, my response was to that, you know what? That's actually valid. They have completely left the offline player hanging to dry. Maybe you guys want to wear the drip, the games and interviews. Now, for everybody that doesn't play my career, you really won't understand that. So for instance, when you get your seasonal rewards, they have hairstyles, outfits, clothing, suits, uh, I guess you would call them mascot uniform, the, the whole shebang. They have all of these rewards all season long, every season. And then his response was, it's trash not getting the extra badge points, the drip, and better ways to travel around this big ass map. He said, do you know how long I've been using that slow skateboard? This is somebody who only wants to play my career. Don't want to use the VC that they earn from the only my career games that they play and put them into the, you know, ways to get around like skates and, you know, uh, scooters and bicycles. They want to build their player up and they want to buy clothes so that their player looks good going into games. That's what they want to do. So it really hit home and it was really a, a gut punch like, damn. We like as a community, as, as a company, we've really left a entire portion of players out to hang. Like, like literally they get on the game day in and day out, play their offline, my career experience, even though they're in an online setting because they're forced to be, because that's what my career is. Now you load in and you're constantly thrown into online experiences but they don't want that. They just want to play my career, get some rewards, just like everybody else, and play the game the way that they want to play it. That fucked me up. 
like dead it like reading this comment and his reply fucked me up because i how did i not see that after all these years how did i not know that my career even though my career really hasn't been a, a, a big focus they still come up with the storyline every year and stuff like that but it's not a big focus to the community because the community wants to be the best builds with the best jump shots the best dribble moves the best dunk packages to play online games that's the community that i thought we were living in but we're living in a much more broader spectrum and it and it dawned on me that there's a solution to all of it the level 40 rewards, the level 40 grind. Remember last year you had to hit level 40 in order to hit legend and you got the parrot, right? This year, level 40 wasn't a requirement of any of it to hit legend. You had to have a certain amount of games played as a, as a goat. You had to play events when events, you had to do quest, play quest, and you had to hit a hundred thousand points fuck the season rewards didn't mean anything to that so why can't there be two paths why can't there be a level 40 path offline in my career and a level 40 online in my career and let everybody get the same rewards because those rewards don't matter to the legend grind we no longer have to worry about a my career player hitting legend so why not give them the seasonal rewards for doing what they do best? Maybe they go to practice, you know what I'm saying? And get, and get, uh, some reputation towards that. Like go to, you have to go to your logged in practices. You have to play your, your nationally televised games. You, 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 uh, if you, let's say for instance, you try to sprint like, like, what is it? Uh, what is it called? I think you like fast, like fast forward the games. You like, yo, you know what? I don't want to play them. I'm going to skip them. But for every game you play, they have times two times three rep for some of them games. You know what I'm saying? Like just imagine within a season, they say, if you play, let's say 70 games in a season, which is, which is probably not that hard on five minute quarters. Some games throughout those seasons may have double rep or they can even run a, a my career event. If you go in, because remember, they had a couple of different events for my career where they would give players certain, like, you know, things that they could do within my career, games that they could play, and they would count towards certain stuff. You could do that for my career and give them seasonal rewards. If, let's say, for instance, on Friday, there's an event in my career where if you play this, this, that, and the third of the televised national games of that week, you can get rep to hit 40 as an offline player. That that would be amazing. That would allow people to get tigers, get mascots, get go karts, get carpets, get uh drones, get the the fast 2K shoes. It would literally help out the community and and kind of bring us together because there's a a current disconnect with people that play offline and people that play online and there's a disconnect between the regular average Joe that comes home from a 9 to 5 that only has 45 minutes to two hours to play the game to people that put in three to nine to 12 to 18 hours a day on the video game. It's a really, really big dis disconnect. And I'm sorry that it took me this long to notice it. But now that I notice it, I will say it's fucked up because they spend the same amount of money on the game as we do us online players. They spend the same amount of money on VC as us online players, but they don't reap the benefits and rewards because they don't want to come for the online experience. Wow. Wow. But I believe that 2K could possibly fix that. I'm not sure if that would be, you know, iterated in NBA 2K24, but if there is any dev, dev team person from 2K, if there's any... Uh, you know, anybody that can help with the marketing team and basically anybody that work at 2k, if you watching this video right now, go ahead and send this, this up the chain or down the chain, whatever. And I just wanted to, you know, bring light to it because I'm not sure if 
anybody has said anything about it. And if they have, I would like to thank you because it's taken me this long to make this video. So I want to thank y'all for watching. Um, DT Will, like, I really appreciate you for commenting in the comment section. I encourage people to always leave a comment because my eyes are always open. I know I rarely scroll on social media, but I do be in my own comment sections on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I always, I like, bro, sometimes y'all open my fucking eyes. You know what I'm saying? And my eyes is wide the fuck open. You dig what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all. IKC Nation. I bid y'all adieu. I will see y'all in the next video. This is your boy IKC signing out. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. I buy. King Kong. King Kong.